What's up boys? Good morning. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about consistency and how when I first started working out, I was consistent every single day in the gym and you need to be too. We don't have a choice as men, okay? If you think you have a choice to go work out, if you think you have a choice to do cardio, eh, I don't feel like it. You don't. Not in today's age. Maybe in the 80s you did. You know, you could get away with it. Or some people say, oh, well, I have a good body and I don't have to work out. Okay, well, how long is that gonna last? Let's start building those good habits right now, okay? When I first started to work out, I knew it was a lifestyle. This isn't some quick fix of, oh, you know, I'm just gonna take some carnivore diets, go do some cardio, and then lose some weight, and it's gonna be over. If that's not how this works. This is a lifestyle that, this is what, this is like brushing your teeth, okay? This is like sleeping. I don't wanna sleep, okay? You're gonna have to sleep. You're gonna have to work out. You're gonna have to do these things. If you wanna be healthy, let me tell you, there's all sorts of diseases in the world, all sorts of bad stuff that can happen. Osteoporosis, I think that's how you say it, like bones, uh, issues, um, respiratory problems. Did you know that if you work out and you do cardio and you, you do all these things, you push your body, that you can actually like either just not totally, get, not get sick at all, or you can totally rid the disease faster than if you hadn't. Imagine that. So it it's overall good for curing disease, for preventing disease and cancer. Um, makes you look better, feel better about yourself. Okay, you're gonna have way more confidence. You know that girl that you wanted to talk to? Yeah, well you can go talk to her now, right? I mean, it is the pinnacle of the best. So you need to be consistent though with it. If you think it's gonna be a chore, if you think, well, uh, you know, I, I, it's like mowing the grass. I, I don't wanna do it. Maybe I'll do it next week, okay? I, I'm running into a situation where somebody I know wants to not really work out, but they do, but they don't. And I can tell that it's not gonna happen. You know, I ask, okay, what's going to be your schedule? What's you going to be doing? Oh, well, you know, I don't think I'm going to be working out on, you know, days I work. And then I'm like, okay, so you're going to work out on the days you don't work after you've worked super long? And then they're like, yeah. And I'm like, but you want to rest. How would you? To me, I have more motivation to work out on days that I work because I've got a routine schedule versus days I'm off. And then you just kind of float through the day, which is why every single day and every single hour has to be accounted for. That's, there's no choice. If you want to play video games, that's cool. I play video games, boys. I, I play virtual reality, digital combat simulator. Um, I play, um, what are the other ones? Like Arma, like a bunch of simulator type games, uh, Call of Duty, Halo, back in the old days. So it's not that I don't do that. I would just track that. I literally would set an alarm. Okay, I'm gonna play for an hour. I put it in. It's kind of like eating. You can eat whatever you want and still lose weight, but you've got to track it, okay? I'm not saying you can't ever have a donut. I'm saying you shouldn't, but you could, but you track those things. So you continue to maintain your progress. And, and that's the problem. People uh, don't want to account for their time. We need to be very accountable as men with our time, our actions, okay? And to stare fear in the face, you understand? So these are the things that are gonna get you to that next level. Um, about being consistent though, um, I've been consistent for the last five years. I've changed up my workout routines tremendously. I used to do four days a week, uh, full body. Then I did upper lower. Then I did push pull legs for six days, too much. Then I did uh, push pull legs for five. And now I'm doing on three, off one, on three, off one, and it just rotates. So basically my rest days are constantly shifting. Um, I would recommend if you're first starting out, do a full body workout, okay? Don't kill yourself. Do like two compound movements and like three, well, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what to do because I'm not a doctor, I don't wanna be held liable, and I don't have my cert just yet, but I would, back in the day, I would do a couple compounds and then some isolations and then do your cardio, okay? You shouldn't even be in the gym more than an hour, hour and a half max. 
don't believe the hype of oh you need to be you know at the gym for three hours like that you're not getting any work done get in get your stuff done and get out especially if you don't like the gym if you're if you're like yeah i don't really, really like being here then it's even better for you such a great deal you only have to be committing one hour you know and, and people are like oh well abs are made in the kitchen sure but the the change that your body goes through the skeletal change the muscular change has to has to come from somewhere it doesn't just happen so that comes from working out telling your body hey let's dedicate resources to this muscle group that way this can build up and then you supplement that with good nutrition to build the muscle to have the energy with the carbs and to keep your hormone levels in check with the fats does that make sense so that's basically what i've done i've noticed that you know i felt the first year and a half i didn't like see like massive change you know what i mean like it felt like wow am i actually growing is this actually working and um it's kind of like watering a plant you know you don't really know if it's working until it's too late <laughs> now until it actually sprouts out and you're like oh wow you know look where we've come from and so that's where you take pictures along the way make sure you're taking progress pictures it doesn't have to be ego pictures just hey this is where i'm at and this is where we're going to be you know visualize yourself where you want to be um and, and go from there that's what i did you know what i mean so when you're consistent with it you're like okay you just keep climbing that mountain okay once you're at the top you can look back and see oh wow i've actually come a long way um but for the longest time i felt like wow nothing's actually happening i don't feel like i'm gaining any muscles um and it was kind of detrimental i was like what's going on here what, what am i doing wrong and um actually doing was i was actually doing things right it was just taking a long time because i was doing it naturally too many people are instant gratification okay i would not recommend doing anything outside of just being uh 100 natural and um not only does it build up your discipline your mentality it shows that hard work that hey i actually did this myself it wasn't cheating it wasn't you know um trying to do something that wasn't right uh, following the masses okay we're, we're not about following the masses here okay if you want to follow the masses go follow somebody else but that, that's we're here to be our best versions of ourselves by not comparing ourselves to you know all this nonsense going on out there in the world okay so um if you can be the best version that you were yesterday one percent better think of we have a brain okay you, i hope I hope you have a brain. <laughs> Think of ways you can be 1% better in all areas. You've got to work out everything at once. You can't, oh, I'm focusing on my money, so I'm not going to work out. Now you become a target to women, okay? Oh, I'm going to work out, but I'm not going to focus on money. Okay, now, now you're going to be poor, you know, and, and you've got to have everything at once. Um, it is true, and, and there's people that don't have to do that. But they're living an average life. And if that's what you want, bro, okay. But that's not what we're doing here. That's not what I want. I'm like frustrated every day that, you know, I just see average everywhere. And not just from guys, but from girls too. Oh, you know, I, I, I don't have a job, but, um, you know, I, w I was like, what did you do today? Oh, I went out and spent money and wasted time. Literally said that to me. I was like, what? So, so people's people are living this dream fantasy that, hey, I'm I'm a rich person and I'm this and that, and it's it's just it's just sad. So I need you to be the real person who you are, and like, yeah, it's going to end up being there's going to be like a lot of people that you know you just fall off the map, and th that's been my reality, especially with high school people. It's like, you look at these high school reunions, you know, I just had mine and I didn't go to it. I'm like, why, why do I want to go back in time to, to show off? Is that what we're doing here? Is, is it showing off or is it, you know, um, <laughs> trying to be better than somebody? That's not, I, I'm not ever trying to like be better than somebody else. I'm just trying to be better than the version I was last year. The version I was yesterday. Does that make sense? So... Yeah, I don't know. Just sometimes you're going to have to cut off the people you're around. 
Your average of the five people you're around with? Yeah, I would say so, or at least the three, you know, um, and, and that also includes who you listen to in your YouTube. Does that make sense? That includes the music you listen to. What kind of mood state you're in because music gets you into different states so now, now we're getting totally off track but yeah and we're already over 10 minutes so yeah this is, just wanted to talk to you about that today the car's freaking fogging up i don't know what's going on but uh it's gonna be a humid day here today so i uh, hope you guys have a good rest of the week and um in a world full of fakeness and deception keep dominating your realities bro talk to you later